and welcome to another Money Monday Challenge. It's Dr. Brenda, sociologist, financial coach, founder of Gutsy Women Finances Community, full-time RVer, traveling the country with my three cats. Look at the sight behind me. I am in my campground in New Hampshire. Have to do a little bit of a walk to get down to the river, but once I'm here, wow, wow, just wow. So having a really good time and Today's challenge, are you ready for this? I'd love for you to get out a piece of paper and a pencil. There's no reason why you can't start right away. Today's challenge, your Money Monday challenge, is to create a gift basket. A gift basket. Now, not the way you're thinking of. This is a fund that you can use to purchase your gifts with for the next year. So yeah, I know it's July, but here's what happens. There is an irregular expense that throws the budget off all the time. I'm not talking about those crises, the car repair bill, the dishwasher that broke. I am talking about a regular expense that we often don't include in our budgets and that is the gift giving expense. So oftentimes what I see in my business is People are really eager to get started on their finances in January and then the credit card bill comes and it's like, whoa, now I'm paying for all my Christmas stuff. So I actually have a workshop on Wednesday, July 20th. Join us in the workshop and you're gonna, we're gonna work, you're going to work on coming up with a list. Birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, Anything that you buy gifts for, you're gonna put down who you're buying gifts for and budget an amount. And then we're gonna work on building that account up so that you have the cash, you have the funds right there waiting for you to make those purchases. And you don't have this giant credit card bill, you know, after the birthdays, after the holidays. And hey, I got some gifts of my own this last week. So this was at my campsite. I love this, dream enormous dreams, okay? Now, I'm gonna hang on to that for a while, remind myself to keep dreaming my enormous dreams, and eventually I'll leave it for some lucky person to find. And then, I'm walking along this river and I find this guy. This is a travel gnome, let me take him out but it just totally made my day. And this is how, you know, gift giving even for strangers, but little gifts like this, that, you know, maybe they're handmade, cheap to, cheap to create, and they just bring a smile to someone's face. That is my travel gnome. So it'd been hanging from a tree and I was the lucky one to have found it. So think about that when you are gift giving. It's not always about uh, the amount that you're giving and the value. It is about, you know, something personal that people can take with them. You don't have to spend a lot of money. So I hope you can join us Wednesday and uh, Gutsy Women Finances. You know, you guys are rocking it. So gift giving, don't let it break your budget. Until the next Money Monday Challenge, I'm out of here. Hope to see you on the trail somewhere. And let me know how this activity, how this exercise worked for you. Over and out. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.